watching 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV with your host Ty Sutherland. So set your paddle down, sit back, relax a while, and watch some of the best kayak fishing this side of the Mississippi. Hopi Kayaks and Tide Trees are provided by Mariner Sales, Wind and Paddle Sports. 30 Miles Out is brought to you by Yak Attack, because we fish. Right on Trailer Company, Rattle Trap, Smith Optics. The Fish Grip, get your best grip. Backwater Paddle Company. And by Hook One. Hey, welcome back to number three in the Florida series. So Teresa and I have been driving and driving all the way from Texas to Central Florida. We decided to set up base camp at Fort DeSoto Park, right there south of Tampa on that little point. What a beautiful place. We're set up. Our camp is ready. We're going to do some fishing right here around the park. You may have seen us with David Danforth more inside the city limits of Tampa, but now we're going to fish around the camp. There's lots of mangroves and oysters. Looks good. Watching the Tampa Bay for the first time in my life. I'm pumped. I just saw some big sharks out there scooting around. This is awesome. Framing, it looks good. Y'all know I'm always going to default to walking the dog just to see what's out there, just to see what'll blow up. Nothing's whacking the top, so let's catch some live bait. Basically, using the, the water as my bait store, I just put a little bitty treble hook on a little bit of 30 pound mono and I just made a throw line. See if we can't catch us some pinfish without having to tie up a rod. All right, look, I just drop it down. I didn't have any split shots, so I put a couple of uh, swivels on there. When that line goes tight, I pull them in. That's that's that. Look, it's going tight already. Look. This is a shrimp and gopher bait. Look here. Look here, folks. Bam, that's what I'm talking about. That's a cut bait or live bait hole. Wow. In line. Don't have to mess up the rod. Don't have to dedicate a rod to catching bait either. Cool. What? There's my live bait, my live bait well. This is my hogfish hogging. Not knowing what I was going to find on this flat, I look up and see a fin. That's a darn shark. Look at him racing around that flat. Got him. Oh. He's sucking him up for shark. He's looking for something to eat. Okay, now it's game on. There's sharks all over this flat. He's on it. He's on it. He's got it. Oh, got him. <laughs> shark off. First light casting shark ever. <laughs> Where's he going? He coming at me. I just sight cast a shark in Tampa, Florida on a flat. <laughs> that was awesome. Where's he going? Whoa. I'm talking about, I don't even know what kind it is. He's green. <laughs> yes, indeed. This is what I'm talking about. 60 pound mono. Teresa called me a pinfish. I cut him in half. Chucked it right to him. There's two or three of them back in his pocket. This is something I've always wanted to do sight cast a shark on a flat, like a redfish. Yeah, you don't see this many sharks on salt flats and in a foot of water in Texas. Every now and then I see it, but just not this many. I don't know what kind they are. They're sharks. Sight casting sharks like a darn redfish. Amazing. Find it here. Awesome. What a pretty fish. I caught him on half a pin. Yeah. And I got another half right here. Give me your bonnet head. Bye. Bye casting 
sharks in a foot of water in Tampa, Florida. Isn't that something, man? Awesome animal. Turn them upside down, it kind of chills them out a little bit. See if I can get my hook back and do this again. That was awesome. Good game torquing on me. I'm gonna let you go, dude, if you... Yes, indeed, I threw a half a pinfish out. He was obliged to take a bonnet head and sight cast it with a spinning rod with half a pinfish. Well, let's look. Bonnet heads are such a neat animal. I'm gonna try to revive him, get him going again, and let him go. And he lives to swim and fight another day. I love that, that fin sticking out. That is such a telltale sign of a shark. So now it's Teresa's turn. Let's see if she can spot one and put that pinfish right on his nose. Yeah, right on his head. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Behind him. I really don't know how good their eyesight is, but if you don't put it right in their face, they have trouble finding it. They gotta sense it, smell it. He's coming to it. He's coming to it. He's coming at me now. Get it to him, baby, We're right in front of him. There you go. Good work. He's on it. He's on it. Let him have it. Let him have it. <laughs> that was bad to the bone. So Teresa decided she wanted to sleep in this morning. The wind is blowing on that side of the island, so I came and put in. I was fishing the Tampa Bay side. This is the the uh, Gulf side. So I put in right here, and it's uh, the current's really strong. Not even really sure how to fish it this morning. I'm tired. So uh, I tried to troll some rattle traps and stuff up and down. No action, but it's very pretty. You can check it out. It drops off very quick here, guys. This is not like Texas. Um, this is the Gulf, but uh, you can see, very beautiful. Water's real clear. And it drops straight down. It's blue water right there. Blue water 15 yards out before you hit the tower. There's a bunch of boats over here picking up bait all morning. Uh, they were anchored out cast netting. A little bit stronger wind, 15 mile an hour wind, so I came to the Gulf side and it's all protected. So, see what happens. Enough of this open Gulf. I'm ready to get back on that flat and chase them sharks down. But before I do, I think I'm going to take Teresa to a place and I've always wanted to go just north of Naples. How's it going guys? My name's Edgar. You guys are watching 30 Miles Out and we're in Naples, Florida. Teresa and I ran south, just north of Naples, Florida to a place called Matt Lachey. Check out this little island. I've always wanted to go. I've seen a lot of fishing shows filmed here. The colors are so vibrant. I had to see it for myself. It's awesome. Where are we? We're in Matt Lachey. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I've seen several fishing shows that were based in Matt Lachey and I just thought all the colors were so awesome. All these buildings painted a million different colors. Check this out. Matt Lachey is a Calusa Indian word meaning water to the chin. What? I mean how? We were told that a lot of Florida Keys artists relocated up here to Matt Lachey. The kayaking schnauzer. <laughs> this is oh, a movie catching schnauzer. <laughs> right here on 30 miles out. Okay. <laughs> if you're ever in southwest Florida, I highly recommend come and check this place out. It's really neat. If you like shops and art, there is no cooler place. Matt Lachey is an amazing place to spend the day. But as awesome and beautiful as this place is, I'm ready to get back to Fort DeSoto and hit those flats, man. Hold on to your paddle leash. 30 miles out. We'll be right back. You know, traveling to all these state parks is an amazing experience. We get to see so much. 
We've been trolling live stuff behind us and throwing top water in front of us. Okay, yeah. yeah it's been working pretty good. These parks let us stay right in the middle of the fishing action and take part in all the local knowledge. Sunblock! Sunblock! With coconut suntan oil. We're on the Stero River, and these were the Clusa Indians that planted all this fruit. Or the Korshan Indians. Korshan? Korshan Indians, yeah. Okay, there you go. You know, she knows. Once we set up camp, we never knew what we were going to see. This made for an amazing adventure. We have grapefruit, orange, tons of key limes. I'm not sure what that is. Or this. And then we have dates and berries back here. If you haven't kayak fished and camped, you gotta give it a try. Now let's get back to the action. A little uh, piece of fish bites on a number eight hook, real tiny. Made me a hand line. Once again, hand line starts the starts the process, right? So I catch my bait. Put on a float, pool noodle. Just drop it over and jig it like they do in the Caribbean and stuff. To make, people make a living with hand lines in the Caribbean. So I'm just gonna use that to catch my bait. Throw it in the the Hobie drive well, and then throw it at the sharks. Watch this shark chase down my live pinfish. He got my pin. <laughs> oh, he came off. He came off. He's coming back for it. He killed my pin. There he is. There he is. Oh man, I could do this all day. He's looking for it. Got it, got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. There he go. <laughs> so he's, this is that's so much fun. Those bottom heads are in here breeding y'all they're just looking for anything to eat. You think? We are right in front of our camp too. I mean, not even 100 yards off the bank maybe, 50 yards on a flat. And we've been going all over the place trying to find fish and they're right here. Sight casting shark. This was one of my goals for, for South Florida. Boy, he's fast. It was the sight cast sharks. What a fun deal. What a fun deal. Beautiful bonnet head, 60 pound, 30 pound braid, 60 pound mono leader. Does fine on them. These little guys. Come here, you. Let me let this rascal go so I can hurry up and help Teresa get a shot at one of these things. This is amazing. Look at this shark coming right at her. Sometimes they just get finicky and sometimes they just can't find it. We got another contestant. <laughs> just because they're there and you can see them doesn't mean you're gonna hook up. You have to put that bait right on the dinner plate. About to hook up here just for a brief second. Watch this. That looks bad to the bone, don't it? I've never seen so many sharks in the skin water in my life. It's awesome.
I can do this all day long, and I did do this all day long. Perfect rod. This is the All Pro uh, medium heavy seven foot rod, and uh, I just love the tape. Pulling me all over, a little three foot shark. A little bit of cut bait. Throw it right in front of them. That's all you need. What an amazing fight these sharks provide for light tackle. Let's get him unhooked and let him go. Pull the shark upside down, it kind of disorients him. And it calms him down. Throws, up, throws off the equilibrium. There you go. Tampa Bay. Here you go. Well, I think I will do this till I can't do it no more. I love sight casting and this has got to be the most visual sight cast you'll ever make. A shark in a foot or two of water. We got two of them coming up. 12 o'clock, circle. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? There's a shark right there. He's chasing something. What you after, man? They're everywhere. Come on, get you some. Get the line. Skip the bait. Come on, get you some. All right, now it's Teresa's turn. All right, this one coming right at Teresa right here. Come on, baby, it's your turn. Stand up and get a good throw. Put it right on his face. Reel it in, reel it in. He just kicked up some. He's coming around. Go, go, go. You can smell it. It's so bloody. He'll leave it there. He's coming after it. Oh, he found it. Let him take it. Let him take it. Let him take it. That's awesome. That is so awesome. He can smell it, but he can't find it. Oh, pitch it to him. Pitch it to him. Pitch it to him. He's looking, he's looking, just drop it, just drop it. <laughs> just pitch it. He wants it so bad, he's in your face. Drop it, baby, drop it. <laughs> he's a little slow, get it to him. There you go. Oh, he's scared. Bait doesn't come at him, they gotta find it. You can smell it. You can't make it out. Hey, he got it that time. He got it that time. Said the. <laughs> he got it that time. He's burning her. This is your first one, right? Because you lost the other one. Yeah. First psychiatric shark. <laughs> Welcome to Tampa. <laughs> right at the camp. Look, we sleep right there, y'all. We sleep right there. And look, side cast and bonnet heads on the flat. Ooh. He is not happy. He just checked you. Oh, he cut the No, he didn't. He oh. just thrashed it, just let it go. A little sandpaper so it's easy to grip them. Grab his tail. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Huh. You got it. Can you about your first sight casted bonnet head shark? That's amazing. <laughs> I'm afraid to put him on my boat. That's awesome. You can grab his tail. No, I'm okay. <laughs> what an amazing time in Fort DeSoto's Park, just south of Tampa, Florida. These sharks gave us the time of our life. We can't wait to go back. You get a chance to go to South Florida, you better bring your kayak. The fishing is endless.
That's a tortoise, not a turtle. That's a ninja turtle. That's like a fruit-eating tortoise.